Hi, you can use group expression node to do a lot of cool grouping stuff. So for example, this built-in presets within one radius of, of the origin. This works on points and primitives. You can do an X coordinate less, less than zero. And uh, by the way, my zero coordinate is here. But if you notice, I, I moved the, mod, the object a little bit. So the actual the actual zero is in here. You can check it with the script. So as you can see, it works. Maybe better to see with the point. And you can also change it, change it as well. All right. What's next? You can also have a thirty percent chance of grouping something again changing it and if you notice this is okay let's do a half and um, you can see we have we're grouping uh, points so that's 2950 and this is our this is our group group one and we have 1400 so which is roughly half so that's good so what else do we have here? Point valence, for example, for this you have to create a, this uh, spare parameter. As you can see, this is channel, channel integer. So just create it, and this uh, notice this will uh, group uh, points. For example, this has only one neighbor. These have uh, two, lacuna, two, two connecting lines three connecting lines, four, and so on. You can also have a first point of primitive, which doesn't really work on primitives. You can also do triangles. This doesn't work well on uh, points. So this will group your triangles very well. You can also change it to quads. Notice only this uh, suffix and, and this uh, this mat operation changes. You can also group end guns. So a lot of cool and powerful stuff you can do with this node. And also you have these cool presets in here. So very, very useful. All right, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.